Outspoken Ghanaian politician Sam George, known for his strong opinions and fearless demeanor, has delivered a stern warning to Western powers who might be contemplating sanctions against Ghana due to an impending anti-LGBTQ bill. In a bold move, he drew a compelling parallel to the recent actions of the United States, pointing out their targeting of the Speaker of Parliament in Uganda following the passing of their own anti-LGBTQ law. He declared that if America dares to follow suit, Ghana will retaliate by shutting down American businesses within its borders. Hello and welcome. This is Rain Smith, and you're watching the New Africa Channel. Let me use this opportunity, Mr. Speaker, to celebrate Mr. Speaker, who has been a stalwart and a bastion for this bill. But for Mr. Speaker, this, this bill would most likely have been killed. Mr. Speaker has stood his ground and ensured that this bill has come this far. And I want to use this opportunity with the support of my colleague members of parliament, since we all support this bill, to serve notice to the Western powers that we have taken judicial notice of what they have done to the Speaker of Uganda. After Uganda, after Uganda passed the bill, after Uganda passed the bill, the sanctions on the Speaker of Uganda's parliament and on the sponsors of those bills, we will serve notice as well that if they replicate the same with our Speaker and members of Parliament, we will also take action against their business interests in our country. Because they, they serve in this country and make money from here and take back home. They cannot hold us to ransom. Sam George further exposed the glaring hypocrisy of America, highlighting their failure to impose sanctions on the Secretary of Defense, despite contradictory events during Pride Month. Astonishingly, the U.S. Secretary of Defense obstructed and prohibited a transgender parade on a U.S. Air Force base, claiming a lack of endorsement from their own defense headquarters, the Pentagon. Governor DeSantis of Florida passed legislation targeting openly transgender individuals, so why hasn't the American government taken decisive action against its own citizens? Why is it, why is it that the American Secretary of State has not sanctioned the Secretary of Defense? Because June was declared Pride Month, and they had transgender parades. The U.S. Secretary of Defense blocked and stopped a transgender parade on a U.S. Air Force base because he said the U.S. Pentagon, which is their defense headquarters, would not support such activity. Governor DeSantis has passed legislation against open transgender parades in Florida. Why have they not taken on their own citizens? In fact, in 2022 alone, there were 433 actions in state house of legislatures across the United States, banning and clamping down on homosexuality. The Supreme Court of the United States, SCOTUS, just last week, passed a landmark judgment enforcing the rights of American citizens to refuse to offer services to people on the basis of their faith and because they were LGBTQ. Mr. Speaker, it shows you that even America has realized the error of their judgment and are walking back their steps. Italy, 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 Italy in June designated June also as Family Protection Month to counter the, 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 L, the Pride Month. Maybe that's something Ghana should begin to consider, that we make June a Family Values Month to celebrate the Ghanaian family value. But Mr. Speaker, in wrapping up, in wrapping up, Mr. Speaker, I just want to state that the dangers, the dangers of homosexuality are great. Persons who are homosexuals or transgenders, per statistics from the CDC, have at least six times higher rates of obesity, substance abuse, and suicidal thoughts than heterosexual people. This has a consequence for our health bill as a country public and, and public health, and we cannot turn a blind eye to this. It's fascinating how African nations increasingly exhibit less concern for Western opinions regarding LGBTQ issues. Following in the footsteps of Uganda, it is now interesting to witness both Ghana and Kenya actively progressing with the implementation of their anti-gay legislation. Do you think other African countries will follow suit? Let us know what you think. Be sure to like the video, comment, share, and subscribe to the New Africa channel for more exciting future videos.